you so much. Thank you, everybody online and those in person. My name is Fale Pampofo, and I run the corporate banking business in Access Bank Ghana. Thank you, everybody. Okay, I'll take you through a brief presentation regarding Access Bank, what we stand for when it comes to sustainability, what we've done so far, and then probably who we are. So I'll start by by sharing my slides here. Okay, I hope everybody can see. Okay. Come on. Come on. Sorry, so by brief introduction of Access Bank, who we are, we are a fully fledged um, full service commercial bank. And we operate through a network of more than 600 branches and service outlets across the globe. And that currently spans three continents, including the UK and then the United Arab Emirates. In Ghana, we currently drive financial institution from 11 out of the 16 regions that we have, and it's still continuing. As a bank, we have, we have stability embedded in whatever we do as a bank, and so much so that it's even embedded in our mission, which is certain standards for sustainable business practices that unleash the talent of our employees, deliver superior value to our customers, and provide innovative solutions for the markets and communities that we serve. And like I said, we promote our corporate philosophy on sustainability and encourage all our stakeholders to uphold the same. At Access Bank, every year, 1% of our PBT is devoted to drive sustainability. And it's to just extend that as a bank, we find ourselves aligned with the fourth Ghana Green Building Summit as a co-sponsor. In line with that, as in leading the charge for sustainable sustainability, especially for greener and healthy environment, we are always guided by what we call sustainability statement. And it reads like, impacting lives positively now and in the future. And I must say that this statement guides all that we do when it comes to sustainability. So this slide will take you through the milestone that we've achieved as a bank, right from 28 to 208 to date. We started in 208 when we launched what we call employee volunteer program, where every staff in the bank is involved, where we compete to embark upon green projects, said that um, the, the, the unit, uh, the group that comes up first, awarded marks that I mean, count towards their appraiser uh, sort of uh, marks towards the end of the year. We never ended there in 2009. We also we became the pioneer Nigerian financial institution to be a signatory to the equator principles. And in 2010, we embedded sustainability into our corporate philosophy. It followed through to 2013 when we also embedded sustainability into our vendor criteria, i.e. Any vendor that comes to work for the bank must make sure that you pass our sustainability criteria before you are selected. In 2014, we developed what we call robust sustainable strategy that was themed financing the future. In that same year, we were appointed co-chair United Nations Environment Program for Finance for Africa and the Middle East. In 2009, we launched what we called first ever corporate bonds that was certified by Climate Bonds Initiative. And in 2020, that bonds was cross-listed on the Luxembourg um, Green Exchange. In that same year, we established Sustainability Champions Network and at the same time launched what we call Inaugural Green Bonds Impact. And as I speak to you now, we have Access Sustainability Academy that tries to groom future ambassadors for sustainability. So as you, see, you can see, Access Bank, whatever we do, it's embedded, and we have sustainability embedded, and it drives whatever our actions are. And now, in terms of sustainability, what our approach is, is integrated across our businesses on four levels. And we say, we, how can we run responsible and profitable business? And we also ask ourselves, how do we shape a more environmentally safe future? I.e., what projects do we finance that have environment at heart? And then what positive contribution can we also make towards the the countries or the communities that we sell. And the instance that I can say is that like in, in the midst of this pandemic, um, COVID-19 pandemic last year, 2020, the bank in Ghana contributed over 20, uh, 1 million Ghana cities to support those community, communities that we, we, we operate in. It never ended in Ghana, wherever we are in Africa, in the world, 
Access bank impact, as far as alleviating the impact of COVID-19, was also felt by way of um, various contributions. And then finally, the fourth pillar is, we also um, support international agreements. And as I speak to you now, we are signatory to the United Nations Global Compact. We also a strong advocate for SDG, that's Sustainable Development Goals, which is to tackle the world economic, social, and environmental challenges. So with this, I mean, at the heart of what we do, in 2019, like I said, we launched a first ever green bonds that raised 36.3 million fixed um, bond, a fixed rate senior and secure bond that is supposed to finance various energy, um, environmentally friendly projects. And this bond, like I said, became the first ever bond in Africa to be certified by the Climate Bonds Initiative. And that goes to affirm the bank leading position in the African sustainable finance market. The bonds, as I said, 36.3 million is available to support financing flood defense projects and renewable projects that have long-term sustainable impacts. That doesn't, it didn't end there. We also have what we call um, green subsidized loans to also support environmentally friendly projects that support decarbonization. In this slide, we will highlight some of the projects that the bonds, the, the funds from the bonds have um, supported. You can see from the um, first column, we have flood defense products was supported in Lagos to put the environment back in order. We also have coastal protection projects that was also supported with the funds from the green boards. The same funds have also gone to support solar energy projects and also greenhouse gas emission projects. And in Ghana, 2018, during our 10th anniversary, we also launched what we call Bag a Smart campaign. That made it possible for us to design bags from recycled materials to support school children. In the same way, our, our processes are um, automated across wherever we, I mean, our subsidiaries. That have also resulted in about 30% cost savings, I mean, from the processes that we embark upon. And then as part of our donations to 2018, we donated recycled school bags to peoples in the deprived com communities. And those schools are Kumasi LA Primary School in Kumasi, Takrade, and the likes. And that, it didn't end there. We also, like I said, COVID-19 pandemic, we also supported massively 1 million Ghana cities in all the various communities that as a bank, we, we sell for, from Ghana. Now, let me take you to the part of that we have as a bank to support, since we believe in sustainability. In that sense, but whatever we do, when a customer comes to us for funding, we, that, we just don't consider financial criteria to determine a yes or no answer. We also consider the impact as far as the environment and the economic are concerned. So if your environment doesn't pass our um, set criteria for economic and environmental impacts, we don't give you the approval. So that guides whatever we do as far as the products or the finance and then that we offer for clients to support projects. So these are the projects that um, we propose as a bank to support with the green bonds that 36 million we raised to support. Are we saying that efficient green buildings, that is in line with goal 11 of the sustainable development goals, that seeks to, to sustain cities and communities. In this, uh, for this project, what we seek to do is like we finance, we support projects or renovate projects that have existed, that, that, that is recognized to be environmentally friendly and that meets environmental standards. Without that, we don't support. And the green bonds can be assessed as, as either a term loan, a time loan, overdraft, certificate discounting, and, and what have you. In the same way, we also have what we call sustainable waste, waste management project, project. That also falls in line with goal seven of SDG. That also speaks about affordable and clean energy. In the same way, it also falls in line with um, goal 11, sustainable cities and communities whereby we seek to ensure that whatever project we finance seeks to minimize, uh, minimize um, waste. And then how can we effectively, efficiently collect waste and recycle them such that the impact on the environment becomes not, not, not so I mean, disastrous I mean, for the areas that we operate. So those funds are also available to support that project. We also have clean transportation funding, whereby in line with goal 13 of um, SDG, that also supports cl climate action we seek to support projects that seek to have low emissions. And then as I speak to you now, we're talking with um, our counterparts in Europe, KFW, to support what we call electric cars in Ghana. That project is also being discussed. That, that have positive impacts on the environment. 
It doesn't end there. If you come to this slide, we also have sustainable water management. That also falls in line with goal six of SDG, whereby we make sure that water is collected, treated, and recycled to make sure that we don't waste water to have disastrous impacts on the environment going into the future. What sort of a, a world are we living for uh, the future generation? It goes to number seven, climate change adaptation, renewable energy, and the likes. We also have what we call green trade, whereby we support companies. No Ghana is an of sort of import dependent country where a lot of what we consume here are imported. Now we ask ourselves, whatever we support, by way of trade facilities to import um, products into Ghana, does it fall in line with goal three of whereby the product comes to the country and support promotes good health and well being? If it doesn't pass that criteria of goal three of SDG, we don't support it. So that is what the fund that we've, we've, we've assessed by the Green Bond is seeks to support. Like I said, um, it, it cuts through, it's, it's not cut as in stone. So once you are put as a bank and you have um, as a project that you want us to support, we sit down with you, we give you the um, informed advice. And if once it meets that criteria, be it a retail, corporate, commercial, or business transaction, we are there as a bank to support you. We are a universal commercial bank. So we don't just focus on this global um, sustainability projects. Besides this sustainability projects, this is for, at the core of what we do. There are other products so that we can also provide support to. So once you are put as a bank, let's hear, come to us, let's hear you. We sit down and give you the informed advice. We prefer solutions to suit whatever you need um, as an entity. So that's my presentation from Assets Bank. Thank you very much, everybody. Thank you. Thank you very much, Philip, for, for that great presentation. And it's good to see firms like yourself spearhead in the efforts on green finance. And congratulations on the issuance, on the green bond issuance.